anyways we are at the actually it's just called the antique mall it's in lakeland it used to be part of wildwood it's one of the stores that ranks pretty high on our we gotta go shop there because they have good deals list so we are gonna go in there and see if we can find anything that we could resell in our live sales on in our eBay store things like that and if there's anything you ever see in the videos you guys just let us know you can shoot me a quick email you can get a hold of me on Instagram so yeah we're gonna go in and see what it's all about this deal yo. That, that is so pretty her face to them. Are they signed by them? They strike me as like made in Japan. They're really they pretty. They do. Well, we are at the antique mall in Lakeland, Lakeland, Florida. And I was waiting until I actually saw something, you know, <laughs> I could film for you guys. There's a lot of stuff here, but you know, stuff that's in kind of my price range. But I spotted, well actually Aaron spotted this and I had to come look at it. Um, I love luster wear stuff. So there's this, and you don't see a lot of like the green and the black, very like deco colors. Um, I spotted this for $4. So I'm probably gonna grab that. Um, and then over here, there was this hand painted, it's signed right there. It doesn't have a date, but it's a Rosenthal Bavaria piece, which kind of dates it for me. So to me, this is probably an antique piece, probably early 1900s. I mean, unless someone saved this for years and years and years and painted on it in the 70s, <laughs> but it's $5, so I'll probably grab that too. And Oh, then there was some, he has a bunch that's, of, this person has a bunch of turtles. That's so an ashtray, that's neat. That has a glass insert, mm -hmm. right? That's really cool. So there was that one, and then, hold on, I don't want to spin you. And then there was a bunch of these, and these are the ones that have, like, the abalone shell in there. So that has a nice color, and it has the Made in California sticker on the bottom. So I was looking like this. I want to see this color. Add a few to get. This one says made in the USA. It's another ashtray. That one's a cool color. Let me move these little pans. So that's what I was checking. The different handmade with abalone shells taken from taken by divers from the ocean. Made by craftsmen of Betty's shells with the help of nature. Very cool. Hold on, let me stand up. I'm not knock anything down. Oh, wow. I love that. Do you? I don't have anything like that. I know. I've never seen a basket. Are you shopping for me? I am. <laughs> it's only 9.99. Thousand? No. <laughs> Come on. Now. Million? So you want this? Oh, that's so cool. Uh, yeah, it's a little dirty, but... Has a little bit of wear, but a, look at that. What about a beetle? A beetle in lucite. Whoa. Made in Kenya. It's $20. Just kidding. I don't want a beetle. It's cool though. Hold on, where'd you get it? Next to the butterfly? Yeah. Let's see the butterfly. Good prices. That's cool. Oh, that's pretty. Isn't it? Yeah. Let me see. We have some planter lovers out there. I've not had that one. No, it's neat. Is it a good price? What would be a good price? We'd have well, to discuss that off camera. Okay. <laughs> so we're um, we're not gonna do the planter because I want a little much for it. I, I, I didn't see the price at first, but we are gonna grab this little trinket box that Aaron found. And then, oh, let me turn slow. And I'm gonna grab the mug I was telling you guys about. So we can put that in our cart. And then the creamer. There's a lot of Annalise and stuff. There's all kinds of stuff here. Ooh, look at that. $50. 
But there's a candlestick holder over there for 50 bucks. You got, there's two of them. They're on separate shelves. I wish this had a pair. Whoa. Uh, can you help me? I got my camera. This frame is about to fall. Um. Sorry. Ooh. It's a uh, dolphin candlestick. And I know people say, Alex, you should have got that. Yes. People will decorate. Oh, look, and there's a lusterware bird planter down there. People will decorate or duck or something. I need to move out of this way. I have one like has different colors. Oh yeah, this one's all the peach color. Yeah. I think we'll grab that. Yeah. And I don't know, should I grab that? People yes. tell me each time like I we decorate with single things. So, so you gotta dig a little in the antique stores, but you can definitely find some things. Yeah. That's interesting. Oh wait, she would have had a um, another piece to her. I've seen her before. Oh, the Fenton sign we were looking at. This was the booth that made me—not booth, but case that made me cry. And I was like, I'm not turning on my camera. But see the black Fenton sign right there. Let me see if I can zoom in. Right there. Isn't that cool? I'm gonna see if they make off, take offers. I don't even know what it costs. I do. Oh, you looked? Mm hmm. Not horrible, but I would like to be in a We have spot. something like that. I wonder how much, how much are you? is that one? It's 80. It's more. Oh, there's that big one. Roseville. The red, white, and blue one? Yeah, for $89. That they found it red, white, and blue. And there's, we've showed you the guys this clock before. I love this clock. More power to them if you can find that at red, white, and blue. Oh, I know, right? So they found that there's red, white, and blue um, thrift store markings on there. So. This one's probably older. Yeah. But that's still really cool. I'm going to ask about that. This booth has some t-shirts in it. It's very Disney oriented, this booth. So I was curious what t-shirts they might have. It's all Guns N' Roses. You never know what you'll find. I'm trying to hunt down some vintage like band shirts for Bianca. I guess they don't have to be vintage, but she said before, she's like, I don't want the same one everyone has from Walmart. So I try and find her different ones. Because I understand, because I'm walking around wearing the same Halloween shirts that everyone has from Walmart. So I get it. All right, let me see. You're a cool little planter lady. $6.99. Those guys are neat. What are you? Look like maybe a hat pin holder or something. That's beautiful, isn't it? Let's see if there's a oh there is a signature right there. Just not a date. I love that. Should I? Should I not? Oh, you guys are probably saying, put it in your cart, Alex. <laughs> Antique flower bud vase. That's actually pretty cool. Let's go this way. You guys are loving the pottery and stuff, so these are cool for that. gotten some stuff from these bag things or the kids have one or the other. Probably. Oh look, is that the seven doors? I think so. Wow. Or at least $30. Five, five, five of them. Five of them. <laughs> That's neat. The bunny. Mr. Bunnies. Some paperweights over there. Some perfume. I bought brooches from this person before. Oh, sorry. That's beautiful. That one's pretty too. Oh, what's this? What are you? 
Vintage Lion Panda Lock. Oh no, key. It's a lock? That's cool. That is neat. This is neat. Oh, that's really pretty. Mm -hmm. Wow. Is the price pretty too? 29. Oh, yeah. Little much. All kinds of Disney figurines. I think last time we were here, we we bought Christmas presents. We were. It's been so a it's long. been a minute. We saw that in another booth, um, at another store. There's a turtle. It's a little um, like sachet holder thing. Look at all these. Annalise, and then there's gnomes up there. And a big one. Oh, I like her. Yeah, she's cool. She's fancy. She's not bad priced. These are so cute. Oh, and these are probably one of my favorites. All the, the ducks. ducks. Yeah, the ducks are cool. Those are probably my favorite. And look. Look at these. The charming tails. Oh, I yeah. love them. <laughs> yeah. Those. yeah. And then they have, looks like some Gobel figurines over there. Nutcrackers. How much are the little ducks? Look at this guy. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Isn't he? Oh wow, look at all this over here. They have a lot more um, of the little figurines. There's the Moo Moo's. They must have bought someone's collection. These I just love. I just love the miniature stuff, like how small they make everything look. Pretty neat. Let's go this way. <sighs> oh look, it's like um, wholesale type, like flowers and things. Candles. Disney. There's Stitch, he's my favorite. Well, one of my favorites. I'm allowed to have more than one favorite. Contrary to what Aaron tells us. Yeah, right? <laughs> Anything good in here? There's some little... Some little loose side grapes. Oh, I'm sorry, we left our cart right there. I'm moving out of the way. We have over here. Oh, frog shakers. Yeah, skunks back here. These look like California pottery. Fifteen for the pair. Um, I found this little thing of ow, lucite grapes. Ugh, I really hurt my toe. Look, I whacked my toe on this basket. <laughs> Nice. Ow. Okay. Okay, moving on. Lots of toys. We've told you guys about this place before. They have lots of toys like everywhere. Everywhere. Oh, these are cute. We see those when we go sometimes, yeah. and they're always a little pricey. They're, they find them in different colors. So, oh, that's a shiny. Is that a lighter? I think so. Rhinestone Zippo, Zippo lighter holder. Cool, looks like a perfume bottle. <laughs> Aaron just wanted me to show you guys this. It's this bird sitting on the turtle. He's showing him who's boss. For sure. Hmm? Okay, well, while I had the camera off, we must have passed through 52 booths and we didn't really find anything until I got to this one. And I found this stunner, this gorgeous vase. OMG, that's what I found. See, nothing else, just that. And I'm getting to where the, the music is a little louder, so that's why I kind of turned the camera off for a bit. But this booth, 
we've showed before. They have lots of Disney collectibles. Look, I mean, even like Peter Rabbit, not Peter Rabbit. <laughs> That's not Peter Rabbit. Um, who is that guy again? Oh my gosh, Roger Rabbit. That's who it is. My goodness. Yeah, but they have a lot of like cool Disney things. And these, um, these purses, the backpack purses, are so neat. More bunny blow molds. This one's 139. This one is 79. Now I've seen a couple of them and I was considering buying one for our live sales, but I told Aaron, I'm like, I've never sold one. I don't know how, if the bunny Easter stuff would go like Christmas stuff does. So I didn't grab it. Um, I grabbed something else, <laughs> but gosh, the music is so loud in here today. Um, trying to talk over that stuff. Oh, look at these turtle shakers. Oh my gosh, those are so cute. What else do they have over here? It, we, off camera, we picked up some um, pink elephant salt and pepper shakers. They're really cute. And then an elephant flower frog that I've never seen before. Oh look, Beetlejuice. Bianca would love that. So, yeah, we got that stuff in there. Oh, and I got another Artesania uh, figurine, but of a camel. <laughs> so I found that off the camera as well. Try and walk in here with all my bags and see. I've been looking for some turtles because I know people like turtles. Um, pottery I've been keeping my eye out for, which I found a few. I did find some interesting pieces of lusterware. You know, you usually see the typical stuff, but I found some cooler things. Um, but we have been trying to keep our eye open for things that people say, like um, in the sale or sometimes you'll email me and be like, hey Alex, I'm looking for such and such, keep your eyes out. Um, so, I mean, we are doing that, we're trying anyway. What are those? Riddle 1951 Pottery Four Piece Sugar Creamer Salt and Pepper. Where's the salt and pepper? Oh, his little head was broken, but those are neat. I don't see the salt and peppers though. Go over here. Oh, look, there's a cat with plants sticking out of his butt. Oh, see, here's an interesting piece of lusterware. Check these out. I don't know how much they are. But these, to me, are like something interesting, right? Um, these are cool. They don't say Japan on them or anything, but that, to me, is interesting. Like, different, you know? For the lusterware stuff. Oh my gosh. You have to take a picture so Bianca can see it. <laughs> Look at his shoes. Bianca would love that. He turned the corner and that thing creeped him out. <laughs> it scared the crap out of him. Oh, I love these. I think these are sold at like Target or something. I love them. I gotta find one. It'll, they'll be at the thrift store before I know it, right? Everyone will donate their stuff from Target. <laughs> Some handmade mushroom. Those are pretty. I like the colors. Salt and peppers. This reminds me of like a a Hager finish, but I don't think it is. So, all right. Moving on. Wow, there's a commercial on the radio. <laughs> Ooh, look at that wash and basin. I love that green transfer wear. Oh, and this. Look at the Native American kit. I love Native American stuff. And that old blown up photo. That, those back in the day, they were called tin can tourists when they traveled like that, traveled around and they would stay places. Almost like modern day um, mobile home. So, this is, this is a cool booth. All kinds of different little things. I like this blue duck. Blue bird. It's marked something 25, but I like the colors of that duck. 
Oh, here's a piece of flusterware. It's a great pattern. It says Strafford made in England. It's $20 for the bowl, but it's different, right? It's not like your typical teacup and saucer, which is what we're looking for. Oh, hey, glass animals. I need to find one for someone. Mm -hmm. So while you guys weren't looking, we actually went and put our cart up at the front and got another cart because we found so many more things. Look at this cool piece. Look at that. And we got a lady head vase and some Shawnee pottery. Really cute. A little turtle planter. And a stamp. A stamp so. set. I think Bianca might like that one. Um, but yeah, so we have a, our other card of stuff is at the front. And it was pretty inexpensive. So I'm like, just grab it while we're here, you know? Gosh, I love those backpacks. Look, ooh, look at the evil queen. Where's the Cruella one? Like Cruella? And I, I know Cruella would be good too. I love um, Beauty and the Beast, this one right here, but I'm not a yellow person. So I will take Stitch. I will take the Evil Queen. Oh, I love Belle. I'll take one of each, please. <laughs> I think this person likes turtles. <laughs> Look at all the little turtle things. We've, that's another thing we found today is quite a few a turtles. turtles. I mean, but we do have people that really like turtles. Um, so. I've been looking for some interesting ones. I don't know how different they have to be. Um, you know, look, has another turtle. Um, but we did find quite a few today. This food has some cute stuff. Oh, wait, let me see. What are you? Oh, you're not lusterware, but you're so cute. Five bucks. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Yes. Okay. Let's go this way. This is where I would get... Oh, look at that lamp. That is great. No, you're not replacing that gazelle with this one. It's too expensive. 145. We sold the gazelle. Oh, and I like that up there too, of those ladies. 38, that is neat. That is cool. December 1897. Oh my gosh, that's neat. It's, he said it says December 1897. This giant flower frog. Yeah, snake. That's why Aaron's leaving the booth. And that Christmas tree. Look at that frame. <gasps> Look at that lady. Oh, I love that. Okay. Move on. Look, Aaron's putting stuff on our shelf. I'll show you. This is this is our this whole shelf is ours. Yes. Have we exceeded max weight capacity limit? Does it have one? I don't know. <laughs> that wasn't. Well, we're like all the way in the back of the we're store. We're here at Disneyland. <laughs> yeah, right. Which all the Disney Florida? stuff. Disney World. Disney World. Okay, so we're Disney. here at Disney World. Anyways. I think that's a wrap for today's video. We really appreciate you guys watching and we'll talk to you guys again soon. Absolutely. Bye.